Hey guys, Dirt Trail Adventures here. Just got home from riding today. Some of you may have seen the pictures that I posted. I rolled the C Force 500 today. Uh, we bent the rack back out, but we do have some permanent damage. Uh, plastic right here is broken. This was rubbing against the tire. Uh, reflector broken, reflector on the other side broken, reflector up here broken, reflector over there broken. All of this was scraped up and my selector switch for my headlights is broke and I've got a little bit of a wiggle here so I guess we're gonna have to tear down and see what we broke. Besides that guys, um, I rolled it down a pretty good hill. Sorry for the wind, it's gonna be a little windy. And uh, banged myself up pretty good but the machine never shut off. And I was able to jump right back on it and drive back to camp. Um, so, first trip out besides the wreck, not bad. The machine's a great machine. It's got plenty of power. Take you anywhere you want to go. Um, I wish it was a little bit wider. The, the narrow stance kind of makes it tippy in some of these uh, trails today. Because of all the bigger machines with bigger wheels and wider stances. Digging out ruts, so it makes it a little bit harder. Uh, you got to make sure you bridge your gaps and stuff like that. But besides that, it's a great machine. Uh, I really like it. The plastic's held up fairly well for rolling at least 200 foot. But like I said, we're going to take apart some plastics, check out the steering rack, see what happened there. And we're going to do some plastic welding to fix the other side and we'll repaint her up and fix some other stuff over here and see if we can get CF Moto to send us some new stickers or Maybe we'll just take them off and roll with it the way it is. But this is uh, day one's review. I mean, I'm impressed with the way that it handled, the power that it had. Um, I got into some real thick mud and was able to do it in two-wheel drive. Um, never once did I have to use four-wheel drive. Besides the roll, the machine's a great machine. If you're in the market for a 500, don't. Don't bat an eye at the Seaforce, man. Uh, they're a great machine. I'd buy five more of them if I had the money. Um, hopefully, it can bring you guys some more content on this machine, and maybe we can tear down the steering rack and stuff together and do videos on it. All right, guys. Have a good one.